Emily Mann was just steps away from the killer in the same row. No one should have had to see what she saw or be burdened with such terrible memories. Now we understand how hard this must be to talk about. She's joined by her father, Randall. You were in the same row as this shooter. Had you noticed this person at all? No, you know, my friend and I got there a little bit late. Um, at that point, you try to be inconspicuous, just find a seat. So we, uh, we saw a row second to the top, and there were a few empty seats, so he and I sat. Uh, he was closest to the aisle, and then I sat, and there was a seat in between me and a couple of girls, and then um, the shooter was on the other side of these girls, and I'm not positive whether or not there were seats in between them. And Emily, did yeah. you, when you heard the first gunshot, did you know instantly what it was? Did you, I mean, it's so incongruous to, the, to obviously, um, you know, what you were there for. Yeah, uh, well, it, the first shot was um, alone in a sense that after the first shot, a, a second or two passed where he didn't start shooting again. Uh, maybe he was waiting to get the courage up again. I'm not sure. Um, but after the first shot, you want to not think that's what it was. You make these crazy assumptions in your head of other things it could be. A uh, kid that snuck in with a firecracker, uh, it could have been anything else. But after the second shot began, he started to shoot pretty quickly in a semicircle uh, down towards the room. And at that point, you know what it is. You know you have to get out. And there's just an understanding in the room that you, you just have to survive and help each other out. So how were you able to, to get out? Um, I actually, I got down to the ground pretty quickly, just out of instinct, I think. Uh, he was standing. After the first shot, I looked back behind my shoulder a little bit and saw he was standing. I saw the lights from the gun, heard the noises. Um, so I got down very quickly. There was a fear that you can't see what's happening, but you just know, you know where the exit is, and in a sense, you know that he knows where the exit is too, so there's always a risk. So I just started to make my way to the stairs and stay low, and that's what everybody at that point had started to do, was just get down. It seemed like he was just going for the easiest targets. His hand was shaky. He was obviously shooting very much at random. And so at that point, I just knew I had to make it down the stairs. Uh, I felt a shoe come off, I left my purse, and once I got towards the end of the stairway, um, a woman pulled me around and I got to my feet and just started to run with everyone else.